Well, Madison, this plaza right here, it's really the site uh, where many protests were held over the last year. Uh, tonight, we speak with the brother of Stefan Clark, an unarmed black man who was killed by Sacramento police. He's reacting to the verdict tonight. One year after leading heated protests in Sacramento over the murder of George Floyd. We the jury in the above entitled manner as to count one unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony find the defendant guilty. Stevante Clark fell to the ground after a Minnesota jury found former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin who knelt on George Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes guilty of murder. It's about time one of these people are held accountable for murder. It's about damn time. The decisions one Stevante Clark was hoping for. Still, he says it's no win. All of me wish that this would have happened here in Sacramento. The killers who killed my brother are still walking the streets today. This is not. George Floyd never gets to come back. Stephon Clark never gets to come back. So we all lost. We're losing still. While many acknowledge Tuesday's decision in Minneapolis as a step in the right direction for race and policing accountability in America, Sacramento activists say the fight will go on. Now, um, this isn't justice for us because justice would mean that George Floyd would be here today and he'd be able to have his day in court. And one way those activists plan to continue that fight is continuing to seek changes to police policy and training. Back to you.